You got the social medias? We got the social medias. You got the Facebooks? We got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters? We got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams? We don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Let's pretend like we're all laughing about something that they didn't hear. (laughs) (laughs) Hey guys, welcome back. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) So for real, welcome back. That's a good Uh, promo though. This is, no, that's going to be the beginning of the episode. Oh, okay. We can still cut it for the promo too. Yeah. We can do both. Why not both? Why not both? Um, That's copyrighted. You can't say that. Yep. Um, welcome we back to the second segment this week. Uh, this week, or today, my right question. Now. Right now. <laughs> my question for everyone is, um, what movie scared you as a kid? Okay. Uh, I've got two good ones. <laughs> I've got okay. two good ones. <clears throat> One of them. Arachnophobia. Oh, okay. Oh. Really? Okay, you go ahead. You, you, arachnophobia. Okay, that's like it. The the movie. Yeah, yeah. Just all of. What that. else would it be? I never <laughs> bothered to watch that movie, so I knew. Fuck that. The first scene in that movie mm-hmm. is like a guy sleeping in like a bug net hammock kind of thing, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and a spider creeps in, bites him, and he dies instantly. Great in his sleep. <laughs> oh, and then it crawls inside his skin. Mm-hmm. And travels back to the United States in his body and gets a job. <laughs> gets a job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just imagine like a spider living in a human suit. He's got like, like a little. He's got like a little tie. Up. Starts, oh, I was imagining the spider. He just starts a new life and marries a wife and has children. Two point like like five kids. And, Bernie's. <laughs> no. and then, in, like after fifty years of marriage, the spider takes this human skin suit off, and it's like. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I've been a spider all along. <laughs> it's okay. I still love you. <laughs> not every movie can be the, a Men in Black, Brittany. <laughs> it's not the meat suit on the ounce outside. It's all of the legs on the inside that matter. Yeah, that's right. I have never seen Arachnophobia. I almost watched it because my senior year in high school, I took advanced biology, and they didn't have a teacher to teach it. So they asked um, our regular biology teacher three days before the semester started, can you teach advanced biology? And she was like, sure, I don't have a curriculum, but I guess we'll wing it. And her winging it was for us just to watch movies that had some sort of like semblance to science. So it was like biology. But instead of being advanced, it was less advanced. <laughs> yeah, it was like, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> was that a class of four people? Uh, it was a full class. It was a full class. It was probably like 30 people in that class. Uh, we watched like, Sparta's great. I Am a Legend was one of the movies we watched. <laughs> wow. And we watched some like, we watched some legit like nature documentaries and stuff. But then we were about to start arachnophobia and she got called, the teacher got called down to the office and they were like, you can't show as many movies as you've been showing. You have to stop. <laughs> and so we Nobody never. can get the media we, card we because never, you always have yeah, it. <laughs> we never finished arachnophobia. And so we went outside to the woods and we picked mushrooms. <laughs> so yeah, great. that's my little that story great. about that class <laughs> and that movie. <laughs> so I, I've never actually seen it all I have there. a similar teacher who did that for my environmental science class, mm-hmm. but she was like a storm chaser, which was Ooh. pretty cool. So you just yeah. watched right. Twister 45 times. <laughs> yeah. I, that sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. But too. yeah, so at some point, like, uh, and this is way off topic, but yeah, she, um, like, she she left the class. We got substitutes kind of rolling in, and then eventually she came back and just started like letting us watch movies and shit. Mm. So it was pretty legit, but also worthless. Uh, <laughs> well, as a as a student, it was pretty worthless, but as a kid, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> But what, so what was your, uh, your so I have a couple of movies. Okay. Um, the Space big Jam. movie that no, the big movie that scared me as a kid that just absolutely terrified me was E. T. Mm. Could not watch it. Yeah, the first scene. Was it the hands? Yeah, the first scene where like E. T. is running around the woods and you don't really see him, <laughs> and then uh, oh, there's like a noise. scene I remember as a kid like he it was like you could see the full moon through like the trees, mm-hmm. and then he like puts his little finger up like to the moon and. I hated it. It was terrible. <laughs> I would cry when it'd come on. I like begged my grandparents, like, please change the channel. I love ET. And, and they're like, no, it's so good. <clears throat> Actually, I still don't like it. Yeah. Like, it doesn't scare me anymore, but I'm like, this is... What do you have against Drew Barrymore? <sighs> so much. Mm. No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. She's great in Whippet. And as for, like, 
Um, she's great when she's doing whippets. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she is great doing whippets as well. Oh, this was a really weird. It's not really a movie, but um, I don't know if you guys ever saw <laughs> Land of the Lost. But the show? Yes, the show. Okay. But it's the 1991 Nickelodeon version. No. There was a no. the intro to it used to scare me, and I don't know why. <laughs> what what happened? I hated it? it. It's just showing these people in like a raft, and they fall like through this weird crack in the earth. Oh, okay. and they yeah. end up like where dinosaurs still live. Okay, or so it's very ba- it's, it's well, very ha- similar to Land of the Lost. That's like classic. The old yeah, that's Earth what that sounds very familiar. That's they made that movie when we like in two thousand nine. Well, not or just a movie, but I mean, like, there's a nineteen sixties TV yeah. show too. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not scared of the 1960s version. It's okay. the 1991 Nickelodeon version because okay. it took me a while to okay. find to find the version. I don't know something about. There was one scene where they show them, and there's like several moons in the sky, and that scared me. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so stupid. <laughs> Get a whole lot more werewolves in that. Yeah. World. So many Probably. werewolves. Yeah. Well, Hutch, anything scare you? I feel like most of mine come from like TV shows, mm-hmm. but um, I'm sure. Fuck it. So. If I had to go to like movies, like I would think like Gremlins because mm. man, yeah, that was scary. Those Gremlins are spooky. Well, that's spooky, but just monstery. I rewatched Gremlins two over the holidays. Yeah. As you should, because it's, it's the holiday movie. It's great. Yeah. It's still. <laughs> There's rumors of them making a uh, sequel. I hope they call it a squeakquel. <laughs> like the I like the, the chip- fucking chipmunks. Um, but I hope. If they do do that, um, that they stay with practical effects. Yeah, did mm. Yeah, that's the only way to make it spooky yeah. and also good. So fun thing about Gremlins too. So there's that scene like where they break where the Robert fourth. Picardo fucks a gremlin. Did it happen? I should. Hey, this well, movie. I mean, you're the most recent. So <laughs> oh boy, oh. I haven't seen the second one. Uh, wow. Now I am scared. Mm-hmm. There, there's a there's a section where like Hulk Hogan like comes out of like the movies like yeah. theater thing or whatever and like there's like a scene i guess if you saw it in theaters it would be like him like going down like to like the or no the gremlins are like messing up with like the projector or whatever yeah. and I, and if you watched it on vhs that scene's changed because they're like they're cutting like the vhs tape or yeah. whatever so i thought it was kind of neat like the, yeah yeah little things I like that. So I had two. Also, oh, the the like goopy back stuff on the gremlins. Yeah, that's, yeah. nasty. That got me. No bueno. I fucking hated that. Nasty. So I had two movies that not only scared me as a child, but they like traumatized me. It's still oh? scared of them. Like, no, I, I can actually. I, want, I love both movies now. They're both amazing movies, but I was too young or too stupid to watch them. Number one. Terminator 2. Oh. Terminator 2 is an amazing fucking film. Yeah, I love that How movie. old were you when you saw it? Six. Okay. Five or six. Mm. I had already seen Terminator 1 on TBS, the cut version. Mm. It was great, but it was the cut version. Yeah. My parents took me to the drive-in to watch Terminator 2. Dun, 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 and I... Dun, dun. I to, I always force my parents to be like as close to the screen as possible. God, so it's huge. You were one of those kids. I was that kid. <laughs> yeah. And we sat in picnic chairs in the front and watched it. And right when the atomic scene happens and Sarah Connor gets blown by yeah. the thing and sees a skeleton shaking a fence mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. I started crying so loud yeah. that we had to leave the idea of atomic uh, wow. war is terrifying. atomic yeah. war is terrifying <laughs> yeah. but that one scene got uh my parents put me to sleep in the back of the car and finished the movie <laughs> like with a blow sleep. dart gun basically <laughs> i don't know how- go to sleep <laughs> go to sleep <laughs> uh i can and- see old billy doing that <laughs> and <laughs> I couldn't watch that movie for years after yeah. that. I had nightmares, and I we had also had just gotten a brand new dog who was a beautiful dog, a uh, gold, golden retriever chow mix, and I started having nightmares about her turning into a Terminator and coming out of the toilet, and then our house exploding in a nuclear. Explosion. And that's why Brian poops in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to, I had this recurring dream for years, and then you're like, I was like nine or ten. I watched it again. I was like, oh shit, this movie's badass. Yeah, but. <laughs> But for a while, I just yeah. had that recurring dream. Around the same time that <laughs> Terminator 2 came out, the AIDS epidemic was becoming for real in yeah. in, uh, in America. It had been for real for a while, but 
uh, I was old enough to understand that that was a thing. Yeah. Saturday morning cartoons, they'd be like, you can hug someone with AIDS. You won't get infected. Like they had like yeah. PSAs and shit. And I didn't know much about AIDS besides it was bad. Yeah. And then I watched the movie Forrest Gump. Mm. I watched the movie Forrest Gump. I really liked it. Mm. And then at the end, Janie dies from AIDS. Mm. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> and I came home. And I held my breath till I passed out because I thought I was because going to get AIDS. Because you lost at Smash Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> That's not, did we say that story? Yeah, we talked about that story. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, my parents were like, what the fuck? Because I just like passed out in the middle of my room on the floor. I didn't want to get. <laughs> it won't be the last time they find you that way. That's a story for another episode. Uh, or in person. And maybe. Yeah. Uh, but um, I had just I had held my breath to the point I thought I was going to get AIDS by breathing it. I didn't mm. know. You thought you would just contract AIDS. I would just like, contract you with AIDS. like a cold was, or something. I was terrified yeah. of AIDS for like three days, and then like my parents explained it to me. <laughs> and then you got over it. Well, my parents explained that this. You're not, not gonna gonna, you're not gonna get it from just standing in the middle of your room. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, just yeah. There in the air. Yeah. But like men. that, like when I came home from that movie, I was petrified yeah um and the worst part was is that we did have a kid with aids in my class mm. his mother had aids when he was born yeah so he had aids yeah mm. and this is when aids was a death sentence yeah yeah uh so i was i don't i didn't know i just was like two and two together well he had I guess, hiv i guess he had hiv yeah but um and it was just like the scariest thing but I like to tell people, it's like, yeah, my the scariest movie I ever saw was Force Gump. Because that's just, not a scary yeah. movie at all. Well, if you think about it, though, the boomer dream, which is what Forrest Gump is, yes. is a fucking nightmare. Yeah, yeah it, is. it really is. Mm-hmm. Just a mediocre white guy moving through time and space. Getting lucky and uh, doing <laughs> excelling at things by not excelling at all. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I have another movie I want to talk about um, that scared me, but it was supposed to scare me because it was a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I had no business watching it. I don't know where my mom was yeah. or anyone watching me and why. Whose child is this? Yeah, I was, whose child <laughs> is this? So my uncle, my uncle would like record movies off like HBO and stuff. And so yeah. he had like a shit ton of VHS tapes laying around with like a bunch of different movies on it. Mm-hmm. And there was this, mo- this movie called Split Second. I don't know if you oh, guys have ever one. heard of this movie before. Sounds yeah. familiar. You've told me about this. It, is a, it was made in 1992. It's a sci-fi horror movie about the future. Uh, the future is 2008, and mm. global warming has caused the entirety of London to flood. And it is about a demon creature that travels through the sewers hmm. and like bursts through bathroom walls and rips people's hearts out and it has these like a like 10 inch long black claws it's super fucking scary jeez and it the the cop like the tough like cop is um i don't know if i'll say his name right it's rutger hauer i have heard about this the cop who's i've never like, seen it he's chasing after they yeah. think it's they think it's like a person but then they find out like oh it's a fucking demon that's killing these people mm. and he's like addicted to like sugar like he's always like give me coffee you know give me like 10 scoops of sugar and that mm. like keeps him going uh Rutger Hauer or the yeah. monster Rutger oh. Hauer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, for, for well, maybe i was thinking about men in black with sugar water yeah, yeah. <laughs> But this this movie just it, it takes place uh, a lot of it in the sewers, and I was afraid to use public restrooms as a kid okay. because I thought this monster would burst through the walls and rip my heart out with its claws. I want to watch this because it is. I've like, showed you a trailer it is for a this movie. it is like an amazingly you bad have. an you amazingly have. like bad type of movie that's <laughs> like so bad it's good. It's like uh, that someone was like <laughs> I loved Blade Runner. Yeah, and this is the best that I can do. <laughs> yeah, and somehow I have the tiniest budget to make a film. Yeah, so and I spent it all it, on this character. It, it kept me up. <laughs> it kept me up at night, but for some reason, I watched it multiple times as yeah. a kid, all by myself in the living room. Like I don't know. I like to be scared as a kid. I was terrified of everything, but I think I liked it because I would constantly <laughs> like watch things that would give me nightmares. I um, frighteners. The frighteners is one that's kind of like Brian's for me which is like a thing that scared me and then oh no this is great mm-hmm. and also that um 
I don't have you ever seen The Frighteners? I don't know mm-hmm. what you're talking about. It's a Michael J. Fox movie about. Okay. I feel like I've heard of it before. So he is a person who got into a car accident and now can see ghosts. Oh shit, that's and awesome. He <laughs> uses that power to run like exorcism scams. Okay. So he has like four ghost buddies <laughs> that, just, that that just like poltergeist around in a house, wow. and then he comes in and gets them out. Um, what do the ghosts get out of it? Fun. Someone to talk to. Oh, okay. <laughs> just companionship, hang. Brittany. I'm like just a, curious. Like a good hang. And it's got uh, one of the Buseys as Ooh. a very spooky. I kind of want to watch this nice. movie now. This it's time. really good. Yeah. I feel like I've seen the cover of it. Another one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid is we'd go to like Blockbuster or whatever yeah. local like movie video place was. And I would just walk through the horror section and just look at the covers yeah. and get scared. Mm. <laughs> just like a little kid. So much bullshit over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just hate scary movies in general. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I've never let myself really get into many of them. I don't like gore. I think gore is really... Yeah. Like, as far as, like, um, this is... Uh, the scary movie that actually was supposed to scare me that I love now but did scare me as a kid was Poltergeist. Yeah, that yeah. movie's is, scary, actually. It is legit my favorite horror movie, yeah. but it's more thriller. And the practical effects live up. Like, they yeah, it does. did such a great job yeah. with it. But it is batshit terrifying if you sit there and think about it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, the we watched whole... it a couple years ago yeah. at your parents' house while we were watching their dogs, and I had never seen it before. And it legit, I was like, wow, this is pretty mm-hmm. fucking spooky. Um, as you all know, my father's a weirdo, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's awesome. So, so we didn't grow up watching like traditional scary movies, oh yeah. boy, but we watched like Dario Argento, who's an Italian filmmaker who did uh, Suspiria. Okay, that, Which, that sounds familiar. There's a they just remade it. Um, okay, but it's all like kind of like Rosemary Baby esque, like weird people in situation, and then supernatural strange stuff happens. Mm. But they're all super beautiful, and okay. every one of those also scared the hell out of me. Yeah, but that sounds like your dad. Yeah, that totally <laughs> sounds like your dad. But they're like seventies horror movies, so it's like the Kairos syrup okay. blood yeah 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 where it's just like paint red super red paint just dripping down things mm-hmm. yeah okay that's weird once about a girl at a ballet school who discovers that all of the other people at the ballet school are witches whoa wow that sounds awesome yeah, yeah. that sounds really cool but i also have like a different connotation to witches thanks to harry potter now yeah, yeah. Like I'm like oh shit yeah like like the kind of witches from the witches by Roald Dahl okay okay not like Expelarmbos <laughs> <laughs> but, but like cauldron bullshit <laughs> well you know can what? we do like five more minutes okay if you I, got more. Yeah. I want to yeah, talk about shit. this movie that Brian hates but I I love fucking it fucking so. goddamn I know I, <laughs> Sorry, I yeah. thought we got through <laughs> this <laughs> no. <without> no. <laughs> I thought we got through this whole segment without you bringing up this shit fucking movie. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Have, hear have, it. You, so have you guys ever heard of the movie The Arrival? It's not with the Charlie new one. With the, with the one knees with... that pop backwards? Yes. Oh my yes. God. It's new to me. Okay. Oh. oh, I have it on Blu-ray if you want to watch it later. I, I don't think I do. <laughs> okay. but so you have is, to watch it once. It's, it's like um, Contact. It's another. It's, no, it's not. Uh, it's, it's, no, it is. it's like if contact it features was, a large radio antenna. It's so, okay, it's in the let me explain that what it's about. So it is a 1996 sci-fi thriller starring Charlie Sheen. Perfect. Yeah. And, graphics from 1986. <laughs> and he's like, I forget what it's called. He's like those fucking 90 dudes who listen to the satellites in the scientist. desert, and they're like, Oh, mm. we're gonna find some alien life for these radio waves or whatever and they hear them and he's trying to like report it and finds out there's this huge conspiracy with the government and the government's been infiltrated by these aliens and their whole job they wear human skin suits and their whole thing is that they're trying to make the earth hotter they're trying to Mm. induce global warming so they can live here they have succeeded yeah this sounds very familiar now yeah keep going and they're like they're these creepy little aliens they like their legs bend backwards yeah uh, and their brains are like covered by like a full, two flaps of skin that kind of like flip up and down. 
and it used to scare the shit out of me as a kid but now i love it and i didn't realize it was a bad movie until like brian and i first started dating and we were like doing that thing where we're showing each other like these are movies i like and then we rented it through like netflix that's when netflix would like send you movies in the mail and we popped it in and we had some friends over and we all were watching it and everyone was laughing their ass off and making fun of it and i was like wait is this not a good movie because i love this movie (laughs) and it is really bad and brian partly hates it because i'm so obsessed with it and mostly because you're so obsessed it's one of my favorite movies and it's not very good but i really enjoy it and also i see a correlation going on here with all of the stuff i'm scared of apparently i'm just scared of global warming (laughs) because all of the movies i'm scared of got some bad news for you i'm living in the worst timeline (laughs) the darkest Uh, i i remember that but like i don't think it scared me Mm -hmm. but that the sound that they make when their knees pop. Wow. It's like a cracking noise. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah. That, the that sound is burned in my yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, like... It's, it's. I think everyone should watch it at least once. Yeah. And Charlie everyone Sheen's... Everyone gets scarred at least once. Charlie Sheen's <laughs> acting is... He is overacting in every scene, and it is amazing. <laughs> the, the tiger blood is flowing through him. Yes. yes. It so is. Yes. <laughs> if you want to see, like, 1990... What did I say? 1996... Uh, That's your homework Charlie for Sheen. this week, everyone. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the only thing it's... it has to do with contact is the fact that he's reading the <laughs> fucking book in one of the scenes. Well, it's it's the antenna. <laughs> and, yeah, they're both... Yeah. Yes, they they both have scenes <laughs> near the large yeah. Ante- yeah, uh, yeah, antenna. It's, it's called The Arrival, not to be confused with the really, the good, the really the good, good alien, alien movie, movie, The Arrival. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just called Arrival. Oh, uh, well. But I don't know. Yeah. I want to mention one random ass like dumb horror movie that we found on like uh Kazaa or some shit in college. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was Attack of the Killer Condom. What? The condoms have teeth and they bite your dick off. Mm. What? Safe sex will never be the same again. Yep. That's not safe at all. <laughs> There's nothing safe about it. I want to know the taglines for that movie. Yeah. Like <laughs> they were so great. Sex kills. <laughs> and so and so and so it follows like this like to de- detective it's like an italian movie i think too so it's okay. all yeah is it in a different language is it just about one yeah. condom yes, that kills people uh, there's like apparently the a bunch of them man? i think oh, there's okay. eventually like a big condom monster someone that pops really? up at some point <laughs> no i don't remember because we, we, we came across this on freshman year and then we we watched it and we were like that now we're done with that shit <laughs> say its name again uh, attack is a killer condom it must have been a prequel to teeth i don't think that's the, the actual name but with teeth. look for yeah <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that that that's that one. Yeah. I never even bothered watching that. That was when like Netflix was pretty new. Yeah, yeah. And I was at home sick one day, and I was like, "What the hell is teeth?" And then it was like this girl had teeth inside of her vagina, and the entire movie is like her getting sexually assaulted by every fucking possible person. Yeah. And her vagina like bites their dicks off in every yeah. like scene. <laughs> Ne- dude netflix when it first started yeah, the online was thing was a wild <laughs> list yeah. of shit man yeah and then they and it wasn't it was not unlimited you had a time limit of yeah what you could watch exactly those were the old days and that's the one that i picked old. was teeth <laughs> and with that we're gonna just end it on attack of the killer condoms <laughs> it's just called killer condom Okay. Ah. Uh, 1996, not rated, 107 minutes long. Mm. It is a comedy horror romance movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm romanced. Hey, baby, let's raw dog it. It'll be safer. <laughs> that's what I, I feel like that's what it is. It's just propaganda against yeah. condoms. Like, I don't like wearing condoms, so I'm not. Here's a whole like movie. It's going to bite my dick so off. So women will have sex with me without a condom. So the detective's name is Macaroni. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Macaroni. M-A-C-K-A-R-O-N-I. It's an authentic Italian film because the detective <laughs> is ma- macaroni. Mamma mia. <laughs> Mamma mia. The right. condom is a bite of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> Mario. Watch out, Charles Martinet. We know where you got your uh, your start. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. We hope that you let us know what uh, scary movies uh, scared you as a child. And if a condom has ever bitten your dick off, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> oh.